Justin Haley comes through to win the playoff opener. It's going to be the 24 of Haley. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, except he forgot his cowboy hat. <laughs> Where is it? Yeah, it's in the home, but oh. Todd forgot all of his. I didn't bring mine either. Well, <laughs> next time, next time, definitely. Justin Haley here right now talking about Miami. Obviously, this past weekend at Phoenix is, did not go the way that you guys expected it to go, but you were already locked in, right? So you go to Phoenix, the pressure is off. Were you able to use this past weekend as any kind of buildup to get ready for Miami? Yeah, I mean, you said this weekend didn't go as we wanted it, but it did. You know, we were running in the top three, top five all night. Had a very strong um, for Toronto or Vigo, GMS, Chevrolet. So uh, we can't help that a mechanical failure took us out of the race. But uh, we got a, little, a lot of momentum throughout the playoffs. been really good. So um, we're pumped for, for Miami to get down there. Me and my uh, crew chief, Kevin Belcourt, have just said all week, you know, we just, we just want to go down there and get practice started. So uh, a lot of confidence and momentum in the, in the 2014. So the first half of your season was pretty up and down. I mean, good runs, then a bad run. Good run, bad run. So halfway through the year, it was all top tens except for, of course, Phoenix last week. What did you guys do different the second half of the year to get all those top ten finishes, especially leading into the playoffs? Yeah, I think early in the year, like I said, we, we had a lot of mechanical issues and, and just things that were out of our control, um, you know, getting wrecked here or there. But um, I, I, I think I blame it on the Xfinity starts. You know, I got that first Xfinity start at Iowa. I got the opportunity from GMS Racing to go out there and, and kind of try to prove myself, and, and then I got the win the, the next week at Gateway. That was kind of the turning point. And then after Daytona, you know, after that, we, we all kind of wanted redemption. So after that, we kind of cranked it up. We, we really found a good mile and a half package for our truck and, and what worked for me, and, and it took a while, and, and uh, it took a while for us to build. But um, as soon as the playoffs started, we were, we were hot and have been hot since. Absolutely. You know what I love? Your uniform. You look like an eagle. I like it. It fits your sponsor perfectly. And you talked about the mile and a half package and how you've run well there. We're looking forward to Miami this weekend. Do you love that racetrack? How do you attack it? And are you going to run up against the wall? Or you think it's the bottom? We talked to Johnny Sauter, and he's like, I'm not sure. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, Miami's a different, uh, different beast than any other mile and a half we go to. So I think that's why it's the championship race. There's nothing like it. Um, I've only been there once. I had a two-day test there before the race last year. So got some laps around there. Me and Johnny have been on the Chevy simulator quite a bit, trying to run the top. But um, you look at the race last year, I ran the bottom every lap. I didn't go up there. I was too scared. But this year I got a little more, more on the line. More experience, <laughs> yeah. And it certainly was worn up against the wall last year. So you you got to take that into consideration. Yeah, and even with these new Elmore motors, um, you know, they like being strung out and, and high in the RPM band. So um, that, that might come into the, into the play as well. So you've won three times this year. You won at St. Louis' first career victory. Then you win in Canada that moves you to the round of six. You win at Texas to get you in the championship four. How do you rank these victories? It's been an amazing season. Yeah, we've uh, won just as many as we need to win. But, I mean, you look at it, we could have won a bunch of them. We could have won Talladega. You know, me and my crew chief went through a list of how many races we could have been in position to win. And, and that's why you look at those. But, man, we, we just fell into all, all the wins and, and been running good enough to – to be able to have the opportunity to win. So um, it's been a pretty crazy re year for sure. What's it like leaning on a champion like Johnny Sauter, your teammate? I'm, he's going he's gonna to help you a little bit, but not a lot, I don't think, because he's raced against you. Yeah, it, it's been tough. I tell everyone I love uh, being Johnny's teammate because I can, I can go out there and search and, and ask him ideas, but I hate racing him. So <laughs> it's a, it's a love-hate relationship for sure. Real quick before you go, you know how many championships Todd has in the truck series? He has two. He told me. It's two. He was bragging earlier. about that earlier. It's already come up twice in the show. I want to know, <laughs> Justin, has anyone ever told you you look like an eagle? <laughs> no. no. First time for everything. Hey, good luck this weekend. Thanks for being here. We'll see you again soon, okay? Yep,